We are D and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Oh, oh yeah, seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. Get out of Georgetown and up the ICW into the swamplands of the Waccamaw River before hitting the Myrtle Beach area. We needed to stage to cross through the Myrtle Beach area because it's narrow and there's just no place to anchor until you cross into North Carolina. So we enjoyed the river and the osprey as we head up to anchor near Enterprise Creek and the split of the Waccamaw and the ICW. It was a busy afternoon, but we enjoyed the sun, and even better, the great sleep in this quiet anchorage. The morning waters were a lake. Until next adventure came from further upriver, we would learn as we anchored together in North Carolina that they have a little anchorage secret further upstream that the boaters from the boat ramp don't bother as much. This morning we watched the osprey hunt and the alligators cruise the waters before we pulled anchor and headed through Myrtle Beach. Check out these turtles sunning on the logs. We first hit the Myrtle Beach area when we find the Socrates Swing Bridge, one of two we will navigate today on each end of this tight stretch. As we begin our cruise through Myrtle Beach, we see another 36 Endeavor, Maggie and me. We catch some interesting pictures along the ICW of this bar on the dock. Check out those seats. Low tide, so do they use this boat? And cool signage to help boaters find their way. Then we catch sight of Broadway at the beach area and the Grand Marina, which leads up along Restaurant Row. At Barefoot Landing, Chris and Al, friends of my parents, come out to catch a glimpse of us passing by and take this video footage. Oh yeah. Well, they have to go slow here. Uh-huh. At the time we cruised through this area, we did not know about the rock pile area, but have since read about it and realized that that was why there were so many rocks. But we saw this guy having fun anyway as we squeezed through this area. And finally we reached the Little River Swing Bridge. Then we pass into a very busy area in Little River. And yes, an elephant in the yard of your pink house, only along the ICW. Finally, we spot our anchorage known as Bird Island. This was a must stop for me, and we are now in North Carolina. We have owned Journey for two and a half years and have Mooresville, North Carolina on Journey as our home port, but this is the first time we have had her in North Carolina. This area is the southernmost point of Sunset Beach, North Carolina, and the Little River Inlet. Why do I want to stop here? I wanted to leave my mail in the Kindred Spirit mailbox. So once Journey was safely anchored, we headed in to see if we could find a trail over to the beach and search for the mailbox. There she is. The mailbox is made famous from the Nicholas Sparks book, Every Breath, which is set in Sunset Beach, North Carolina. Yes, you can leave your mail or notes to loved ones in the box. There are so many websites and articles that you can read about the mailbox, so I'll just post some at the end and you can enjoy the discovery as much as I did after reading the book. I know I'm a sappy, sentimental romantic, but I just had to visit and leave my mail. Back to Journey to get ready for sunset cocktails and a beautiful view on our first night on Journey in North Carolina.
we met the couple on Next Adventure here who took this great shot before they pulled anchor of Journey. We were not far behind as we had a short hop up to Southport. Once again, catching some great sights along the ICW, like this dock cover that needs that dock bar we saw back in South Carolina. What do you do when you take the wheels off your home and you live on the ICW? Well, you raise it, of course. We cruised along and passed through the Holden Beach area and caught sight of this small airport. Look up, skydivers are coming back down. We cruise along a narrow stretch as we enter the Southport area. We had looked at the anchorage situation in Southport, which was a little suspect. So since we had Shelby and her 25 horsepower engine, we anchored south of town in Dutchman Creek. A great little spot. The only downside, it was near a boat ramp and the boaters didn't really care about their wake. But our first encounter was with the U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary. Two great guys admiring our boat. They came aboard, checked us out, and got a journey tour. This anchorage did enable us and Shelby to run up to Southport and explore. And our first stop was the Fishy Fishy Cafe, which had some great decorative signs. Then off to explore the town, which is rather small and really didn't take us that long. But we did enjoy the walk by the water. On the way back to Journey, I got some shots of the Bald Head Lighthouse and the Oak Island Lighthouse. At Journey, we found once again an osprey nest was always nearby. Southport is done, so we will wave goodbye to the town and head up the Cape Fear River towards Carolina Beach. We are living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. Oh, we are living in the moment, life full enjoyment.